Hello once again. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to I don't know. It's probably part four or five of the specific example. I'm um, having it in separate parts because I figure it's easier to digest information in bite-sized pieces, and it's also easier to go back and find an exact step you might have missed on a specific portion instead of watching a whole one-hour video to find a specific part. Right. So in this video, we're going to focus on the tangent grade. We're essentially going to go through how to calculate your tangent grade. There is also a formula for it, but just as the grade, the formulas are not provided in the exam. So it may be advisable for you to know these formulas. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. So for your tangent grade, um, your tangent grade at A or your tangent grade right at the beginning. So that is the very first change will be the final road level that's given at that point. So when we go back to our question, our final road level at A is 226.8 and our final road level at C is 225.10. So it's important to remember those, okay? So our final road level or our tangent grade here at A, I'm just gonna copy those so long. So it means our tangent grade and our final road level are exactly the same. Two two six. Hey, what are you doing? Point eight, and here as well. Two two six. Point eight. Okay. You can work to two decimal places. Um. Not really fussy. I'd recommend two decimal places as well. I shouldn't say I'm not fussy. I am. So, um, what you have is the very first tangent grade. And the rule of thumb with carrying out your tangent grade calculations is that if you are doing it correctly, by the way, if you are doing it correctly and you're busy calculating as you go, once you reach your VPI, the tangent grade that you have calculated should be exactly the same as the one you were given, the value you're given. Same applies for your tangent grade at C. Remember, at C is essentially the very end of the road, and it should represent the final road level that was given. So if you get to your VPI and you get a value that is not the same as the one you're given, that's a sign that you are not on the right track and you've potentially made a very big mistake, and you can backtrack and try and find where you've made that mistake. Similarly, when you get to C and you calculate your final road level at C, and it's not the same one that was given in the paper or in the question, that is your clue that something is very wrong. Something is completely entirely wrong, all right? So those are the clues you can use to essentially see or check yourself. Okay, so now getting into the tangent grade calculations, our formula for these other ones, because we already have the first one, sorry, we already have the first one, um, your tangent grade will be your previous tangent grade plus open brackets your grade times your change interval close your brackets divided by 100 i'm emphasizing on opening and closing the brackets because it informs what that 100 is dividing if there are no brackets that 100 is going to divide everything so it's only the stuff that are in the bracket that get divided by a hundred. It's only those ones. Okay. So for your tangent grade at change 130, and you can see that your change intervals or the distance between the two is 30. And the distance between these two is 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. 30. But once you pass 340, then you need to start being careful because that is where that is where the magic tends to happen. Okay, so I'm going to show you a cool trick that I use. I'll just pull out my manual calculator on here. So we said that our, what is this thing? <laughs> final road level or tangent grade at A is the final road level we have. It's 2 to 6.8. That is already given on there, right? Then we're trying to find the next one. At chain is 130, it means the interval or the change distance is 30. So our formula says the previous tangent grade, which is 226.8, plus, open those brackets, our grade at this point. Wait, let me give you one more tip. So remember, we have our grade that's between your A and your VPI. 
So all these calculations until you get to this purple line here, you will be using this grade. But once you pass the purple line here, you'll be using your G2. So G1 until you get to the VPI, G2 once you pass the VPI. Sharp, we're going back. So we said our grade before the VPI is negative one point. I use the full number. You can use the condensed one. It's really up to you. Um, one point, negative 1.064516129. Multiplied by the chain edge distance. And we said between that one and that one is 30. Then divide by 100. I don't know if my camera is showing what's happening here. All right? So that's what I meant. Where you apply the brackets informs where or what you're dividing. It should be 100, not 1 to 2. Sorry. Divide by 100, not 1 to 2. All right? Then we get the next value as 226.48. And there's the rest of the number. So what I normally do, a quick tip, you can whip out a piece of paper, just like I've done on mine, and you are essentially trying to write down all your answers as you go. So I have mine on here. This is possibly the messiest video I've ever carried out. But I have mine on here, and this is because I'm trying to make sure that I follow the maths as I go along, right? So as you calculate, you calculate, you get your answer. And this is 226.48064520652. Um, this answer is essentially the one you are going to plug here where it says previous tangent grade. On the previous tangent grade, you don't use the rounded off answer. You use the full answer that you got. Okay. But I'm saying write down your answers because it's easier to keep um, everything as is here and just change this portion where it says answer you get it but it's important for you to keep writing down your answers so that you follow where you are so this the next one we got was 226.48 something 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 but when we come here we're only going to enter two decimal places right then we say answer plus everything between 130 and 160 we still have a distance of 30 there isn't much of a distance so you say answer equals to Two to six point one six something something. Then you're gonna write down two to six point one six, right? Make sure you write them down in that order, so you're able to fill them out properly. Ne? Then remember at this point it applies the previous answer that you got. It keeps on applying the previous answer that you got on here, so you don't need to keep on changing it until you get to the red line, the part where your intervals change. Then two to six point one six, answer. 225.84 next one 225.52 next one 225.20 next one 224.88 next one where are we 224.56 we are now at 310 then 340 will be our last normal one answer 224.25 Okay, now when you get here, you need to start being careful. Because see, the distance from 340 to 350 is no longer 30. So it means you'll still apply the answer, but you would need to change your interval there. So our interval now becomes, hey, we're now 10 from 340 to 350. Then you say answer, then it becomes 224.14. You see it most. Then from 350 to 370, the interval is 20. Then you go back up there, change your interval to 20. Answer, 223.93. It looks like 9258 what what, but it's 93. Ne? Then from 370 to 400, the interval is back to 30. Then you go back here. I hope it didn't take us back. 223.61. Then now we're on 400. But from 400 to 410, and we're now at the VPI. So remember, once we pass this purple line here, remember, once we pass this line here, our grade will change. So this is the last part where we're using our grade of negative 1.0645 watt watt. Okay? Then now 
we are at 400 then the last one will be a distance of 10 between 400 and 410 223.5 so right at the purple line our VPI is 223.5 and if you look at the question that we had our VPI was 